Hey guys, welcome back to Vincent GD Super Channel G. Look how incredible this Captain Marvel looks. I can't wait to show you exactly how incredible it was to unbox this amazing hero. So here's one pose. Here's another amazing pose. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? And so here's yet one more right here so man this looks so amazing doesn't it this is gonna be an incredible movie this is already an unbelievable action figure so guys if you've not already subscribed to our channel please subscribe below hit the notification bell next so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out let us know what you think in the comments below if I haven't already said that and why don't we go ahead and get started guys right Now! It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G! This is Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G! Okay, friends, I'm so excited to bring you this very first action figure from Captain Marvel, the movie from Marvel Studios. So exciting, the last movie before Avengers Endgame. And this is the Build-A-Figure Kree Sentry. And so, this is the first time I've seen it in stores myself. I've seen a few online, obviously. Don't know how they got them, but it looks so incredible. There's actually seven figures to purchase with an eighth that's a build a figure. Look at that for the Kree Sentry. And it looks so incredible. Obviously, this is going to be kind of like Iron Man for um, Avengers Infinity War. Iron Man was the first one to come out. The other ones didn't come out yet. And Iron Man did not have a build a figure piece, but we definitely needed him in our set, right? So look at this Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, Talos. Uh, Captain Marvel again, but in a different attire. We have uh, Jon Rog. Marvel's Grey Gargoyle, and then, I don't know how to pronounce this, I'm sorry, Genus Vell. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but doesn't that look amazing? And honestly, I thought there was supposed to be a green Captain Marvel. Not just that suit, but um, uh, maybe I was wrong. But nonetheless, we need, need, need to have this. This is... The, the final suit, right? Doesn't that look amazing? And it comes with accessories, luckily. So with the mask off and with the hands open, we definitely needed that because if it didn't, it would have been kind of like our, um, you know, Iron Man that didn't really have a whole lot going on. Looked great, but didn't have that and kind of let us down there. But let's get this open. What do you say, right? I can't wait. I know you can't wait. So let's, let's bust this bad boy on open. And well, <laughs> as I normally do. Uh, I get a little ahead of myself, but look at this gorgeous package. Doesn't that look great? All right, so Captain Marvel. Carol Danvers becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes. Captain Marvel, when Earth is caught in the middle of a galactic war between two alien races. That would be the Scrolls and the Kree, right? So uh, obviously we've seen Guardians of the Galaxy. We had Ronan, right? And he was, uh, 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 he was a Kree um, of the alien race. And so finally we're getting to see some scrolls here. And if you've seen the previews, obviously the, um, that old lady that they're trying to trick us with, obviously is not much of a trick now that we've seen a lot more previews with them fighting on, um, on that bus or whatever. So. Uh, train whatever it is so let's get this open okay and here we are I'm so excited for this I've been waiting a good while for this and so wow this one actually has a interesting looks like Marvel took a, a different approach this time where this is I guess not attached unless it's just it came off but yeah definitely we're used to that being attached right there whatever no biggie these awesome action figures from Hasbro are unbelievable 
Look at that. All right, so let's get her on out of here. Wait long enough. Long enough. So let's get up in here. Let's, here, let me bring the camera a lot closer. Let's zoom in, let's do all the good stuff. All right, so first off, look at this awesome head sculpt. Look at the mohawk coming here from the hair. Uh, I'm sorry, from the helmet. This looks so awesome. Obviously, there's a little bit of artifacts for this paint job, but that's all right. We can just clean that right up. Overall, it looks great. That even looks like looks like Brie Larson's um, bottom half of her face. It looks awesome. So let's see what sort of articulation we have. Okay, so first off, this is attached here. I don't know how well it's attached, so I don't want that to bust off. But it's the first thing I noticed when I was looking to see what the articulation is. So. Obviously the arms go pretty far back. I don't know how far back I want to do them before this. Don't know if it will come off or not. We have a single joint for the um, elbow. Um, the wrist comes in and out and spins. So that's a very encouraging sign. Uh, like a traditional female character, it only goes in so far. This one goes slightly more than 90 degrees. Look at that. So that's good. At least it's more than 90 degrees. This spins all the way around. So that's good. Um, obviously both arms do the same let's bring this up look at that let's have her flex in her muscle and ready to just bust up on someone look at that all right so we move right under the rib cage right at the rib cage right so we turn about this much and this much in the two different directions we don't really ab crunch too much it moves a little bit back a little bit forward so yeah that looks great so you know what, I just need to take a picture real quick. Okay, so um, head articulation. Looks like it moves pretty far back, right? So that we can, she can then be flying. Look at this. It doesn't, I would love for it to go a slightly further back so she can be flying like through space like we've seen in the previews. But that's good enough right there. That looks pretty good. Look at that. So, Absolutely, that looks great. All right, and so look at the paint detail. Doesn't this look amazing? Now, clearly it's not gonna move at the waist because of this. I do prefer when it moves at the waist at, at least there, or in addition, we have double joints at the knees, so we definitely have great leg articulation there. Uh, the joint feels a little bit softer than I would like, but it's still holding up. Moves good on the, on the high part of the thigh. Leg's got great mobility. Um, let's see, the ankle definitely moves back and forth, turns, pivots, does everything we need that ankle to do. Look at that. And this just looks so great. Look at this awesome, awesome, awesome paint detail right here. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks like someone messed up on this little paint job right here. Because this one goes straight, so I would assume this one's supposed to go straight too, and it's a little smudgy. Look at that. Looks like we're kind of messed up here, but whatever. It's not gonna bother me much. Be okay with that. Look at these boots. I'm sure this is exactly what her suit looks like in the movie without those numbers and letters. So yeah, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Looks great. Why don't we take a look at the other head? So it's just, just pull and twist. Wow, look at that. Interesting. Okay. On out of here. And let's just twist this bad boy on up in here. Now, obviously, the hair is. We can flex it, but um, it's not going to allow for a lot of crazy head articulation because it'll. If we start pushing back, it's only going to go back so far. Luckily, the, head's, the head turns pretty well. It will pivot a little bit side to side, tilt, I should say. And you know her face looks close. It's not amazing, but it is close. Could be a little bit better, but um, let's have a little bit of artifact right here. And hopefully it's just dust. That one was so good. And um, you know, maybe we can clean that part up, but it's definitely cool to have her without her mask. And you know, typically I don't like having too close fists. Obviously we do have um, these open hands right here. Let's take a look at these. 
but nonetheless, if you've seen the previews, then Captain Marvel is definitely one of the figures we'd be okay with close fist because she's like blasting people. Look at that. Doesn't it look great? So, I actually think I prefer this amazing helmet, right? Doesn't that look awesome? And let's see what, if we just twist and pull, what these hands look like. Yes, yes, and yes. So, interesting. I wonder why her hands are posed like that. I wonder if it has to do with placing them like this. Look at that. Because that's a very unique pose. You normally don't see Marvel Legends hands with open fingers like that. Look at that. That's very unique and interesting. Looks like we even have a little bit of a nail <laughs> hopping up there. So that's interesting. So, yep. Very interesting. Let's open these up. Let's zoom a little bit out. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. Let's tilt her right here. Boom. Do the same thing going the other way. And that looks great, doesn't it? So, so awesome. I'm definitely digging this. This is a great figure. You need to get this one as soon as possible if you're a collector. Absolutely. And we're, oops, <laughs> wrong hand. Um, we're gonna um, open the entire set as soon as we get them one by one and then make a master video so with all of them together so we can um, do the build a figure so guys if you've not already subscribed to our channel please subscribe below hit the notification bell right next to it so you can get notified every time we have a um, new video come out and yeah if you want to be the first and get notified as soon as it comes out then hit the little bell next to it and guys let us know what you think in the comments below so um, Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video. So thanks for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G.